welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Fiona and I'm a mom of three. My girls are heading back to school and there is a lot of feelings around all of it. Lorelai, she's my youngest, she is a year and a half and she is starting daycare for the first time. I cannot believe she's going, I'm excited for her, but I'm also gonna miss her because I've been with her every day for the past year and a half and that's a big step for both of us. Zara is starting the threes classroom, she just turned three in June and I'm really excited for her. I love her teacher, I got to know her last year. And then Olivia is starting pre-K which is her her last year in this daycare before she starts kindergarten. And that's a big change too and a big step. So as a mom, I got a lot of feelings going on, but I'm also excited because I am going back to work. I am a classroom teacher, but I have decided since Lorelai that I wanted to take a step back. And so I'm gonna be working in the school system as an instructional assistant, which is super exciting because I get to go, I get to work with kids, and then I get to leave. I don't take anything home, which is great for me right now because I can dedicate my afternoons to my kids and just enjoy the weekend without any stress. In previous years when it's just been Zara and Olivia, their list is on one paper and it's all kind of mixed in there and you gotta kind of jump around and it gets crazy. So this year I'm gonna put all of the lists together to make one list and that way it is easy to go shopping. So today let's go make the list and then we're gonna go to Target and get everything we need. So let's go. I'm laying down at the compartment Oh no I see you only when you're balling Oh no I don't even care to doubt I see you in a while Cause this time I will choose you, yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this to risk cause you're using it You got all your secrets I can seem to move this I think you're still doing Zara 3 to 4 Do you want the Elsa ones? Yeah Put those on the bottom On the bottom? Yeah Okay hey. Let's stay focused That's not gonna happen Mm, two, like huh? that, 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 that. <laughs> Olivia, smell this one. That's yeah, you like that one. I like it. <laughs> you smell this one. Smell this one. Do you like this one? No, 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 no. It's not food. Go. You like that? Yes, this one. This one. This one. This one. Look, no, watch, watch her, watch her. I know she goes to drink it. That's great. Don't teach her that. <laughs> so Did to. you like it? Daddy, Alright, we'll get this one. Daddy, really? Daddy, Daddy, this Daddy, one. Daddy, okay, we're still on the nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. This would be pretty good for uh, the bathroom. We have one in the bathroom. Let's finish that one first. Yeah, but you keep bringing it elsewhere. Because we don't have any candles. What? What? Go. You like the candles? Are you getting antsy? Are you getting hungry? You want to eat? day. Today is the day of their open house, which means we get to bring all their stuff. So that way the first day we don't have to bring anything, which is really nice. So we got to get this done.
question that I want to answer is what do you do to get your kids ready for school? So what we really start doing is working on their routine again. What are we doing in order? So first they're going to have dinner, then they're going to take a bath, then they're going to brush their teeth and get in their pajamas or read some books and then they're going to go to bed. Just start getting them into the rhythm again. We don't pay too much attention on when they're getting up, but as we get closer, like the week and a half before school to start waking them up maybe a half an hour earlier and then another half an hour earlier just until we get into a good rhythm. It just kind of gets their body more aware of what's happening. We read some books that have to do with school again. So we don't eat our classmates. This is my favorite book. I read this to my class every single year. So it's about a dinosaur who eats her classmates who are kids and she realizes, oh, if I eat them, I have no friends. And then a fish bites her and she freaks out. So really cute book, but this is one that we like to read. We also read All Are Welcome about everyone's welcome in your class. There are different faces, new people. Just doing those things kind of makes them more comfortable and ready to go back to school. So for our kids, we like to get backpacks. The kids often bring home a lot of things. Sometimes they bring home bags if they have an accident. Sometimes they bring home arts and crafts. Sometimes they bring home letters, just tons of stuff. And last year, my hands were full. Like I could not carry everything. They would bring a toy with them in the morning. It just got out of control. So each kid has their own backpack and our backpacks are all from Pottery Barn. So Olivia got hers when she was a year and a half. This is the small Pottery Barn backpack. They have side pockets here that their Yetis fit in really nicely. They have a compartment for a folder. This one is a glow in the dark one. It's really comfortable. She really likes it, but Olivia loves taking this. She doesn't just use her backpack for school. She will put toys in it that she wants to take with her, things she wants to show her grandparents. So she really has been using it a lot more than just school. This year, Lorelai and Zara got a backpack. So Lorelai has the mini. The small was way too big for her. It's really just smaller. It still has the same compartments. And I don't know how much she'll use this if it'll be more for just bringing spare clothes back and forth. But I wanted her to have one as well because her sisters have one and she's in that phase where she wants everything that her sisters have. This is also a small, but I think having all three kids have a backpack, it's just something that they can bring into school. Last year, a lot of times they wanted to bring stuffed animals and I can't carry them all, you know, at the end of the day. So this is just gonna make it easier on me. But these are really nice backpacks, really great quality. I will link them below if you're interested in them. They might still be on sale, so definitely go check them out if you're interested. The kids are all ready to go. I need to get ready because I am still in my pajamas. Let's get going. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on driving till it ends Still it feels like I'll pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end That's my let me just talk quickly about my viewpoint on spare clothes. When I was a kid, if kids had accidents, it was clear that they had a new outfit because the outfits didn't really work. You know, parents are just kind of throwing things in there that they don't use or are just not their go-to item. And that's kind of what I did, like not our go-to items. However, in the past, I've went out to the store, got certain outfits just for spare clothes. That way, if they came home, I knew they were spares and they needed to go back. But the second reason is that I didn't want, if they had an accident, for it to be obvious that they had an accident. So the shorts go with any shirt that they could be wearing and I don't know when that starts that kids are like aware when others are having accidents and it's a big deal but I just didn't want to put them in that situation so that's just kind of my viewpoint on the spare clothes situation all right girls where are we going uh, to the open house to the open house to meet your teachers yeah, yeah. you ready yeah. all right wave Woo! you 
got a smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you But I can see that you don't realize And that's what makes